Hey everybody, I am going to be creating a tag uh, and I am going to be showing you three different ways. I was a little stuck. I have been in a creative rut lately, so I didn't really know which way I wanted to go with this tag. Um, and then in the end, I trusted the Art Alchemy Wax, which is an amazing product. And I absolutely love how the tag turned out. So I am going to start off with uh, embossing some ch uh, dusty attic chipboard. And this is where my idea had come from. So I really wanted to enter the dusty attic mood board challenge for this month. Really gorgeous colors. Uh, and so I had purchased some products from uh, uh, scrapbook diaries. Uh, I had a brain fart there for a second and I ordered some AB studio paper, some dusty attic chipboard, um, so that I can, uh, enter that challenge. Well, I failed completely, um, in the sense that I can't enter that challenge with the tag that I created, but that's okay. Uh, like I said, I've been in a creative rut lately, so I was just trying to work through whatever is going on and just wanted to finish the tag. So I am going to, I cut out two tags from the AB Studio paper, and then I am going to add some clear gesso to them. I am going to add the larger tag to the chipboard so that it is nice and sturdy. And I use uh, Fabri-Tac for that. I love Fabri-Tac adhesive for almost everything. I am going to cut that out um, and this is actually the tag that I had started out with trying to create something that I can enter that dusty attic challenge with, but again, it didn't work out and that's okay. I really love, loved the process of creating this tag and I think that's what I needed. So I added that smaller tag, um, onto some fun foam and then I am going to add a little bit of white gesso kind of in the center just to kind of tone down uh, some of that imagery and text and because um, there is a lot of black uh, in the paper. So let's see, I am now using a AB Studio stencil, which is, I actually have it right here. It is, doesn't say. Um, there's a number, ID 71, that's all it says on here. Uh, anyways, it is a gorgeous stencil. It's actually designed from Pascal. Uh, she is an amazing mixed media artist. She does amazing work. Um, so I used some clear crackle paste, which is not my favorite, but I was, ran out, well, I didn't run out actually, my, um, the... Crackle paste that I have been using from Cosmic Shimmer, I believe, it dried up. So I was pretty bummed, but I really wanted to try to get some nice cracks on this tag. Um, but it didn't end up working out because the clear crackle paste just doesn't work <laughs> as well as I wanted it to. Uh, that's okay. I worked through it. Again, just kind of trying not to get frustrated with the process, trying to enjoy it. Um, so I let that dry and then I added some cut up uh, chipboard pieces that I had embossed earlier. And now I'm adding the um, resin frame from the memory hardware line from Prima and a, uh, let's see, some upholstery thread some little bobbles here that I had made with some clay, another clay piece from a Prima mold, and um, a flower. Just trying to get the composition and all of the elements where I wanted them. And I had started the tag the day before this, where I'm creating right now, and then I woke up super early, um, probably about five o'clock, and it was a Saturday. And I thought, I need to finish this tag. I'm not leaving my desk until I finish it. So it's a weird time for me to film. So at this time, it was probably about 7 a.m. ish. And as you could see, the light is just coming in 
my window, even though the blinds are shut, there is a little crack because our lovely little Callie likes to go through the blinds and sit in the window and she has separated them in my office here. So that's why you could see some of the, uh, the light coming through. All right, so as I was rambling, I added some flowers and this mitt form metal piece, which I absolutely love. They had sent me some of their uh, metal pieces and I added some gesso to it just to kind of give it a cohesive look for the tag and this is a what I'm doing here is I am embossing a Prima metal butterfly and I absolutely love these butterflies um, and then I am adding some acrylic paint from Prima as well um, and then in the end, I decided that uh, it I didn't really like the brown. It was a little bit too, too muted for me. Um, I did add some white or some picket fence distress spray uh, splatters. I cannot think this morning. Uh, forgive me. All right, let's see. So I wanted to add a little bit more color to this tag. So... In the areas underneath all of the embellishments and stuff I wanted to add a little bit of that really pretty it's almost like a rose gold ish brown color I can't remember the exact color name but I will have it linked in the description box down below all right now I am going to add some art stones and I only have the mega art stones and the mini art stones. I need to get my hands on some regular art stones since they are my favorite size to use. Uh, but what I do is I add some 3D matte gel or soft gel in this case where I want all of the art stones to go and then I add a little bit more uh, gel and kind of mix it around the art stones and then that way it kind of adheres all of it together and again I will say this I've said it before that I have learned the hard way that you need to let them dry completely especially if you're going to be adding any more color or anything like that to the tag so I am going in with the mini art stones just to kind of fill in some of that space um, and at this point I honestly didn't really care for the tag but I really wanted just to finish it and then that's when I decided you know what I'm going to do something different but I do that in just a second uh, so I let that dry and now I'm going to add some more splatters with the picket fence distress spray which is my absolutely absolute favorite I cannot talk I feel like I need to I don't know, go take a nap or something and then do this voiceover again, but I'm already almost halfway through, so that ain't happening. You guys are going to have to bear with me. All right, so at this point, I decided I'm going to add some gesso and kind of tie everything together. Uh, hopefully, it will turn out how I like it. So after I had finished this tag, I had um, photographed it thinking, okay, this is, this is done. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to change it up <laughs> and add some color. So it's done. I actually like this one the best, which I'm kind of bummed that I had added the um, black gesso and all of that, but it's okay. I really enjoyed the process and like I said before that is what mattered to me the most is just going back to enjoying the process and really just kind of creating for myself. I really honestly wasn't even sure if I was going to put up this video. It's taken me quite a while to even do the voiceover uh, just because I think when I think of doing a project I automatically feel I guess in a sense obligated to put up a video and that's where I think a lot of my creative block is coming from um, editing videos putting up the videos um, but I know that you guys enjoy them and I do enjoy putting them up for you guys don't get me wrong and I'm not complaining at all or anything like that it's just it's a lot of work to do the videos I know it may not seem like a lot of work but it is 
All right, anyways, enough rambling. So after the gesso dried and I had come, I had came back a little bit later and I decided that I was going to try to add some colors so that I can enter in the Dusty Attic mood board challenge and it didn't work out how I wanted it to, but that's okay. Again, it's okay. Everything is okay. <laughs> All right, so I am adding some Lindy's and then I go in with some Prima sprays uh, and I can't even, I think this is Tainted Love Teal and a little bit of a coral color from Lindy's. Um, and I go in with some water and kind of let it spread out where it wants to. So when I use multiple colors like that aren't the same color family, like in this case I'm using the teal and the coral, I kind of don't know what to do, to be honest. I find it hard to figure out where what color, like where a certain color should go. Uh, and that's where I was kind of getting stuck. I knew that I needed both of these colors for the color challenge, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't swing it to where I felt comfortable enough to enter it. Uh, so I was just kind of playing around with the different colors. Um, so I am now coming in with the ginger coral from Prima. Uh, just to kind of brighten up that coral color and I just yeah in the end I ended up just covering it all with gesso kind of toning it down and then I ended up liking it but just not enough to where I felt comfortable um, entering it to, for the challenge um, not because I didn't think it was good enough or anything it just I think it was just myself getting in in my way and um, yeah so <laughs> I am still trying to play around with the color figuring out where everything should go and it just did not look right to me I just felt there was a little bit too much coral and then there was too much teal and so yeah um, here I am going to add I'm going to spray um, some of that teal on there um, because like I said I felt there was a little bit too much of that coral so I wanted to add more teal which then in return ended up being too much teal so it just yeah I just kept going back and forth uh, at this point you see everything is covered with teal mostly it's just a little bit of the uh, embellishments kind of underneath on that right side have that coral color uh, and I was kind of happy with this but I wanted to add some gesso just to kind of tone things down a little bit and I am doing my favorite method here which is using the heat tool um, while I'm adding the uh, the gesso so that it adheres um, well while it gets tacky from the heat it adheres better to whatever embellishments I am um, trying to paint the gesso on I hope that makes sense uh, and let's see I did add uh, some teal to that mid for mid form metal piece um, just so that I don't know I didn't really like the teal so I'm going in now with some of the distress spray in picket fence because I knew that that would get it really really white um, in areas that I wanted it to and that is going to complete that tag I don't know if it's just in the editing process or what but that tag looks really really washed out for some reason um, sometimes when I'm editing the video editing software doesn't present the picture as well as it should um, anyways all right so now on to the third and final tag look <laughs> I decided that I wanted to use some Prima art alchemy wax and I think in this case if you are in a situation like I was where it's just not turning out how you want to don't throw it away Cover it with black gesso and add some art alchemy wax. 
Um, and I will almost guarantee you that you will love it because Art Alchemy Wax is just such an amazing product. I absolutely love it. So I added um, some Distress Spray Stain in Black Soot and then I added some uh, Black Gesso. So I like to add the, dist the Distress Spray Stain in the Black Soot because it helps um, get in all of those little nooks and crannies and things, especially when um, I am creating a project and I didn't anticipate adding um, the Art Alchemy Wax, uh, like in this case. So there's lots of different layers that need um, all of that black gesso. So after that dried, I'm going in with Peacock Feathers, which is one of my favorites. And I have one... Uh, paintbrush for all of my Art Alchemy waxes. I don't switch brushes. I don't really clean it. If anything, I will just kind of brush it off on a paper towel. Um, and it's been working perfectly fine for me. Uh, let's see. So I am kind of, eh, let me see, uh, not lightly brushing on and not really heavy handed. Um, brushing on the Art Alchemy Wax kind of in between. So I wanted to get in some of those nooks and crannies um, because there was lots of layers on this tag, um, but I didn't want it to be completely blue. I still wanted some of that black to show because that's when you really get a lot of depth and dimension on your project when you can still see some of that black or a darker color on your project when using the Art Alchemy Wax. So I'm just going in with that paintbrush and just brushing, brushing, and more brushing. <laughs> and I absolutely love this color. It is super, super pretty. All right, so this color is not Peacock Feathers. It is Old Denim. I do end up using a little bit of Peacock Feathers uh, in a minute here, but this one is old denim. I just wanted to make sure that I corrected myself before going any further um, But I didn't want to go back and change um, What the voiceover that I've already recorded? Uh, just so that I can get this done for you guys. All right, so I am done with the old denim now I'm going in with a little bit of that peacock feathers and I absolutely love how it is turning out the colors look so gorgeous together and I'm trying to work a little bit fast so that I can blend them a little bit together. Um, I found in the end after the tag was complete and I did this off camera, I used my heat tool to kind of heat up the wax and it ended up melting um, the colors together which look really, really amazing. Um, it just helps it kind of blend a little bit better together. It doesn't completely like mix all the colors together or melt the wax 100%. It just warms it up just enough to where it gets a little bit more creamy and then it kind of just um, melts together, if that makes sense. So after I am done with Peacock Feathers, I am going to go in with Old Silver and I absolutely love how this tag turned out. So I am now lightly brushing on the old silver. I am barely using the tip of the brush because I don't want um, to get in all of those, you know, all of those layers. I just want the very top layer of the tag to be highlighted um, all of that texture and all of the elements on the tag just barely um, highlighted and as you could see it is looking amazing and I did want to say that I normally wouldn't add flowers really or a thread to a project like this but after the fin after I finished it I thought why haven't I done that because it looks really cool with the different textures and different things um, on the tag kind of just out there and giving it a little bit more interest. So I am definitely going to have to implement different things into projects like this in the future because it turned out really great, I think. 
I do have a workshop using Art Alchemy Wax, so if you want to check that out, it is over on my website, tiffanysolorio.com, and just click workshops, and then it will take you over to where you can purchase it. Um, and you can get kind of more in-depth little tips and tricks and different things um, and a totally different project, different colors used, and um, it's really a great project. So if you want to learn more, you can check it out. All right, so I added a little bit more of the peacock feathers. I felt it needed a little bit more color and I think it just turned out amazing. So that is going to complete my three tags. Here's the last tag. I love it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And also leave me a comment down below. I will be getting back to highlighting some of your comments in upcoming videos. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. If you are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.